Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin and Cross Nation. And today's video, we are going over the new copy medals that we received of Beagle Boys and Lion Pete. Now, at the time I was making this video, uh, I have updated my website to include both of them on my website at khuxnation.com. So if you want to go ahead and check out the metal analysis article, go ahead, check out the website. Uh, I'll even be le leaving a link down below for both of the articles if you want to go ahead and take a look at them. But without further ado, let's get started with the metal analysis. Beagle Boys is a speed reverse copy metal, tier 3 single target. Uh, it uses 5 gauges and questionable number of hits, okay? Technically, the target's questionable too. I don't know what the strength and defense are just yet, but I will be updating that as soon as I find out. Every single multiplier for this metal does not matter, so you can just ignore that. And the special ability for Beagle Boys is it unleashes the same special attack as the previous metal, works only when set after a metal. The seven star ability is the exact same thing, except that if there is no metal to copy, it unleashes a special attack with one turn ability where it raises the reverse strength by three tiers. Now, Lion Pete is the exact same thing as Beagle Boys, with the only exception being that he is a tier 4 metal instead of tier 3, and he also only uses 1 gauge instead of 5 like Beagle Boys. Everything else is the exact same thing otherwise. Now, because of the fact that both of these metals are backwards copy metals, my general analysis and advice is going to be the exact same, more or less, uh, with just some slightly different comments towards both of them. So, first of all, let me start off with the general spiel about copy metals. Copy metals are by far the best metals in the entire game. I don't care what tier level it is, alright? Yes, I know that both Lion P and Beagle Boys are tier 3 and tier 4, which is fairly low, much lower than the uh, key art copy metals that you get in the beginners deal however they can still have their uses simply because of the fact that they're a different attribute i know a lot of people tend to not completely understand this is mostly among beginners and sometimes even uh intermediate players too shockingly but what makes copy metals so useful and one of the best metals in the game is the fact that it copies not only the ability of the metal it's copying but it also copies the exact multiplier of the metal it's copying too uh, and when I say the multiplier, I mean the base multiplier. Copy metals only take the base multiplier of the metal it's copying and then applies its own multiplier to the metal. So in this case, because Beagle Boys is a tier 3 metal, it'll be applying a 100% uh, guilt percentage towards whatever multiplier it grabs from the other metal uh, and same thing with Lion P except but because of the fact that he's a tier 4 metal he'll be applying a 130% guilt percentage instead towards whatever m multiplier they ends up copying. Because of the fact that their copying ability is so versatile, not only can you actually use multiple times the same buffer or debuffer metal uh, that you end up using in like towards the beginning of your keyblades, but that means you can also make them super hard hitting damage metals as well if you just have them copy some of your best damage metals. They are by far the best metals in the game and because of that, I've also made them the only exception uh, within my score system so far where they basically just, I just basically give them like outrageous uh, high amounts of score numbers. Uh, so that way they just always appear as the best metals within my scoring system on spreadsheets and stuff. It's also because of the fact that copy metals are pretty much feature proof in which uh, in which that means that no matter how long you play the game copy metals will always be relevant. I don't know if you've noticed but copy metals are always used in the meta um, simply because of how useful they are and like they let you be able to in a way to get extra cast off your be best metal. So instead of having to dish out even more jewels and more money to be able to tr try and use the same metal multiple times and trying try to get multiple copies of the same metal. And you can just have one copy of a metal and just use copy metals to like copy it a bajillion times. So because of this, they are pretty much future proof. They will always be relevant in the game. Uh, and they're always highly recommended whenever they show up if possible. Now, when it comes to actual specific things about Beagle Boys and Lion Pete, let me start off with Lion Pete, okay? Um, purely because of the fact that the main thing that comes to mind when looking at Lion Pete is that he's literally just a worse version of HD Riku Replica if you happen to have him. And this is going back to what I was saying before, in case you happen didn't happen to catch it, that uh, it's purely because of the fact that Lion P is a tier 4 metal compared to HD Riku Replica being tier 8. When it comes to copy metals, 
Normally, when you go about judging how good a metal actually is, uh, you don't go by its tier level, you go by its ability and its multipliers, all right? The only thing that tier levels actually do or affect uh, is the actual amount of guilt percentage that gets applied to a metal. And because of this, Lion P is just vastly uh, inferior to HD Riku Replica simply because of the fact it literally has half the tier level <laughs> and guilt percentage of HD Riku Replica. Now, the good benefit about Lion Pete, though, is the fact that he can potentially be used for some of the lower tier events. You know, those those like cup events will get sometimes they're like you can only use tier four and below and such. You could actually use Lion Pete for that. Whether or not, you would pretty much want to use just HD Riku Replica if possible. Now, when talking about the Beagle Boys, Beagle Boys is interesting because of the fact he's tier three, which is not the greatest, to be honest. That's only 100% guilt, and that doesn't really get you too far normally. Um, however, the main thing to be concerned about is that Beagle Boys is the very first speed reverse copy metal in the game for global anyways, because of the fact that we never got shot, lock, and barrel that JP has, and there was probably some type of like, behind the door uh, situation that prevented Global from being able to get the medal ourselves, I'm pretty much assuming that Square Enix had to do some kind of like workaround uh, in order to make sure that Global could also get their copy of the Speed Reverse copy medal. So we got that in the form of the Beagle Boys. Now, as many of you who've been watching my channel for quite a while already, you know that Speed Reverse is has been by far the worst attribute and Keyblades in the game so far in the entire game um, solely because of the fact that we didn't have any speed reverse copy medals in the game at all whatsoever. Now because of the fact that we finally have Beagle Boys a speed reverse copy metal, now we can finally uh, make certain Keyblades a lot more viable to use now. Um, some good ones being like the Lady Luck for example, that's actually a little bit more viable. You can actually go a pure speed setup for that one. Divine Rose as well, you can finally go a pure magic uh, upright setup for that one. Uh, Sleep with Lying is a little bit easier to use now. You don't have to worry about that awkward third slot. And same thing with Stroke at Midnight. And Missing Ache just became so much better now simply because it has a copy metal. I know it's, I know it doesn't seem like a lot purely because of the fact that Beagle Boys only really affects like only a small handful of Keyblades. But for those of you that actually use those Keyblades on a consistent basis, um, this can actually be a pretty big deal. And also because of the fact that now PvP is part of the game, uh, and we are constantly cycling through Keyblades, uh, having a metal like Beagle Boys can definitely help out in the long run. Now I'm not going to be going over my spreadsheets simply because of the fact there's nothing to really compare to. Uh, it copies the multipliers and abilities of whatever it's copying, so you can't really compare a copy metal to, to anything else because it'll just copy whatever else you're copying. So there's really no point to actually comparing it to anything. Uh, and so because of that, I'm not going to be going over my spreadsheets this time in this video. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemite Senior Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.